Yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy John from the Game Video here. Welcome you back to another episode of the Saga Log. Hopefully you all are having a splendid day. Hopefully I am having a great day myself. Um, and yeah, um, we're just chilling. We're big chilling here. And we have a couple encounters to get. We got round 10 to deal with. We're out here. We're freaking having fun. Yes. Okay. Anyway. No, honestly, I am having a lot of fun right now. Uh, Solage City, and then does it change? Don't I get another... Don't I get another type of encounter, too? Where it's like, oh. Oh, you could have been a trainer. That could have been bad. No, I do not get another encounter. I had a feel. I didn't think I did, but I was like also needed to double check, because I was like, if I do, then okay. But if I don't, I'm also not worried either. My thought process is, is up here, but it's just, um, yeah, you know what I mean. I don't need to, I don't need to go on and on about it because you guys knew it. Um, I knew that that was there. It was more like a, I, I don't know how to explain it. Okay. Oh, hi, Pineco. I don't, do I really want you? I mean, what level does Pineco evolve? That I guess will determine whether or not I want it or not. I'm gonna, I mean, I guess I'll, I'll still try for it, because it is a pine coast, so it should be pretty easy to capture. 1605 is a really funny number. Da -da. What level does pine co evolve? Level 31. Ew. Ew. It's level 31. I have a lot of training to do with this thing if I ever have to use it. But I mean, it is a steel type, so we gotta like we gotta think about it that way too. It'll be a steel type. You know what? I got my tea in my Pokeballs cup today, so I usually don't have tea, but I just was feeling the need for tea. And so, because I was feeling the need for tea, also I thought I figured out this issue. Apparently, I did not figure out the issue. Um, and I don't, oh, because these are access buttons. What? Why are you trying to be access buttons? Okay. I don't know why you're trying to be access buttons, but. Oh, I fucking damn it. It's okay. It's a fine toe. Gosh, dang it. I think it died anyway, but that still upsets me because I could have avoided that problem, but yet freaking. This button issue is causing even more further issues down the line. Okay. But yeah, like I said, it's okay. Route numero 10, we got a... Boo! I actually remember this thing kind of being a threat. It's got download. It's level 20. Ugh. I think that's an issue. It's the fact that it's level 20 is going to be a big bu big thing. But it's a special attack rate, so I'm not worried about that. As you know, you use a special attack that lowers my speed, but you know. I'm going to Shadow Punch it. It should live a Shadow Punch, no problem. Well, actually, that didn't live no problem. That could have died. I could have died. Or I could I couldn't have died. Uh, the right on could have died. Jeez, we don't have great balls, and that's gonna be that's gonna be the issue. The, co the cause of some issues is not having great balls because it's like I sit here, I think about it, and try and figure out how to avoid the situation of death. And it's like, oh, you know, Grey Ball would be great to avoid it. And it's like, oh, yeah, but you don't have that. Now you're catching some difficult Pokemon that are going to be the cause of so much pain. Also, why does this thing have two different speed lowering moves? It's actually very usable having like, and plus it's a physical and a special one. But yeah, it's like, what the heck? Ah, I'm yawning now, too. I'm super yawny today, and it's like... I had coffee. I'm having tea. I've had water. Like, what the frick? I've had a lot of different things. 
to avoid... Oh, nice. That was a nice crit. Okay. I've had a lot of things to try and avoid being tired, but here I am being freaking tired. It's just like... Boy. Like, I, I don't have math homework. I don't have any homework of that regard. I did my freaking... I mean, I guess maybe it's just because I didn't have enough sleep last night. But even then, like, I say it out loud and I'm like, I feel like I had a decent amount of sleep. Because I went to bed at 2 and woke up at 9, so that's 7 hours. Or 7 and a half because I woke up at, like, 9.30. So, again, 7 hours of sleep. It's not a bad amount of sleep. It's just, I mean, I guess technically I'm one of those people that can sleep for, like, 20 hours and have no problem. So, my body just wants to sleep every 5 seconds. It's also first week of the month. You know what? Actually, I think about it. That actually might be more of a reason that I'm more tired than usual. Is because I'm trying to deflect my... Oh my gosh. Girl, you see that? Although, there's, I, I've had some moments already where... Okay, actually, you know what? I talked about having moments. Let's talk about it. Let's, 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 let's deep dive into this. So, on Sunday, I talked to Joy about it. And I told Joy, I was like, I had a moment and uh, it got stuck in my brain. And then I dreamed about it. And it was just like, what the frick is going on, brain? You have another speed lowering move. What the hell? Okay. So, basically, in a nutshell, Charizard, I was down bad, okay? And I am down bad, but we know it. Um, So, I was on my knees. That's a great start to this story. And, you know, you kind of just think about it, and you're just like, you know... Like, because I was what I was doing is I was fixing a uh, computer, because I know how to do that, and I do that for work all the time. Um... Which we're, we're trying to figure out, like, again, again, to be IT. So, and work in IT, work in coding, and all that stuff. So, some of you probably already know where this story is going. But, basically, uh, I was trying to figure this out with, you know, because Troy was kind of right there. We were trying to figure it out. I was like, this is broken. This is what this is. And, of course, I'm on my knees, right? I'm just, I've been on my knees the entire time. And he's standing straight up. And remember... He's a pretty tall dude. So, people were like... I don't, I don't understand why people, people were like, there's no way he's this tall. And I'm like, dude, I'm this tall. Of course, I can, I can pretty much judge height. So, he's like, he's definitely over six foot, okay? Like, he's definitely past that threshold. But, because I said he was like 6'2 or something. And they were like, there's no way. It's like, well, I'm nearly 6'6". Six, six, and I don't have to uh, look down to contact okay, keep in contact with him so therefore he's got to be at least six foot one um but yeah so anyway carry on um yeah so i was on my knees right and i was and so like <laughs> the, the height in the way that it worked is that i was in what in my head i was like wow this is perfect dick sucking position and i was just like brain what the fuck like what are you talking about like Okay, one, brain, why are we thinking about this right now? Stop it. Like, this is, this is work, brain. Like, of course I didn't say anything because I'm freaking, I'm very good at keeping those inner thoughts in. Inner thoughts. Um, until I get on video because, you know, these are funny and things, moments that you guys probably like and enjoy listening to me talk about. So, yeah. So my brain decided that, you know, it was going to think about the fact that, you know, what, what perfect dick sucking position is. And I'm like, brain. Why? <laughs> Why are we thinking about this? And so, of course, didn't say anything. We then I stood up, like maybe like a couple minutes, like a couple minutes later. Then I and you know I deflected it very well because I remembered that Troy had a fantasy football team because last year he had brought it up because we were playing the Cardinals at home the time that we lost, which is SDS exactly why I remembered that because freaking of course I did because freaking Troy. Um, so. Uh, yeah, like, again, I remembered it because of Troy, not because of the statistical fact. So, I remember things sporadically, which I'm going to name you sporadic now. Um, And so, yeah, so that's why I remembered that. And so, yeah, and so I stood up, we were talking about fantasy football, that's how I deflected it. And he was in a dynasty league because he was talking about how he was doing so good this week. Because I was like, I got crushed this week, Troy. And I was like, it was like a great experience. My team decided to absolutely do nothing. Um, and he was like, oh, yeah, it's okay. My opponent's scoring 220 right now. And I was like, what? And he's like, oh, it's a dynasty league. So we actually have more players than normal. And I was like, oh, that makes sense. But he had like 140 points. And I was like, oh, 
So, and then he had Burrow and McPherson on one of his other teams. And sorry, Troy. And I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, we have the same people. Because, of course, of course, what does my brain go to immediately? Oh my God, me and Troy think alike. Yes. I am literally like a teenage girl, okay? Like, it's first week of the month. Teenage girl mode activates. That's just how it works. Um, so, <laughs> um, but at least, like I said, at least mine's one week versus freaking others who are longer. But, yeah, so that's great. I was like, brain, I love you, but why? Is just, And then I went to sleep and dreamed about it for eight hours. And I was just like, and mind you, this was uh, on Monday. So I went to bed at 11 o'clock, right? You know, because I actually went to bed at a decent hour. I went to bed pretty early because I was like, okay, you know what? I'm feeling tired right now. It's about 11 or 12. I'm going to go to bed. I woke up at 12, 12, right? Of course, I originally woke up at like... Eight, but I, I slept with my light. I, I was so dead. I slept with my lay like the the light up there on, and so I was like, "Wow, okay." I slept, and then I was like, "Oh, well, I slept again." Frick, like a lot of sleeping. So, but then the entire freaking dream sequence was screwing Troy. Well, actually, well, let's not. I wasn't doing the screwing, but you know, I was like, "What the frick, brain?" What are you doing? What are you thinking about? Why is this the thing? And it was eight, like, it was a, it had to have at least been a solid eight hours of that dream. Of, like, something to do with that. And it was a, in multiple different variations, multiple different ways. I was like, brain, okay, like, I get it. I understand that that's the only thing that you want to talk about and think about. But, like, also, there's a reason I came in inside. The brain. And so it's like, gosh dang it. So, yeah. So, brain decided it wanted to, like, create that brain child. Uh, on Halloween night, because of course, of course, of all days, it was going to create that brainchild on Halloween of all places. I'm like, okay, brain, I, I give up on you sometimes. Like, I straight up, I give up on my brain sometimes. I'm just like, you know, you can choose to do that, brain. Because what's the point in just freaking disregarding it at this point? Like, I, I guess the weirdest part is like, all the information that I've learned over the last couple weeks. It's like, again, it's like, it's kind of like the shady, like, thing where it's like, oh my gosh, it's not as bad as the shady fixation, but, um, because of what the information is known. But, anyways, uh, yeah, so my brain decided to think that way and, you know, wanted to create problems and do its fun thing. And I'm just like, can I just find an actual guy? Can I just do that? Can I just, like, actually do that and like actually find somebody who's freaking uh you know meets both of the simple requirements there's two simple requirements one of them is you have to like actually like me and i have to like you two simple requirements like you do you i don't like i'm not a big like stickler on I'm not like, you have to be six foot, you have to do this. Like, it's convenient that I like tend to gravitate towards taller, more kind of built individuals, but I don't need a taller built individual. Like, that's not, again, like, would I prefer somebody who's taller than I am? Yes, but I'm not gonna get that because I'm freaking six, almost six six. Like, it's, I have to figure out and learn that, hey, you know, if you wanna be the one that's dominated, you gotta let, like, people smaller than you be the do, do the dominating. It's like, but it just doesn't, it doesn't work as easily like that, you know? Like, okay, we're really talking about this. We're talking about John and her thoughts today. Okay, you know, let's go for it. I'm closing today. My brain's already gone. I have to deal with people on the registers for eight hours. I'm fucked, but I don't care. <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm so screwed. I'm sorry for cussing a lot, too. This is going to be one of those episodes where I tell YouTube that, hey, by the way, I cuss a lot because I'm talking about sex and all this other stuff. I'm talking about not the most appropriate stuff, so I'll tell YouTube that I'm doing that because I, I don't know. Do you guys do that on YouTube? Like, Because I actually will like mark my videos and be like, so by the way, I cussed a little bit more than normal here. I did talk about a little bit more sensitive pro like things but not I, never i but i never go to the point or the like the the like point of limited ads right 
like I I make like not that I care about that I'm just I'm using this as a frame of reference because like if you cuss within like the first 30 seconds of the video and like or cuss in like your intro it's like oh well uh, you automatically kind of get marked down for it it's like okay well that's fine like again I don't care about that I care about having fun and hanging out with you guys and it's just like if I ever get to the point where this could be my career which you know I hope so at some point I would love that I would love this to be my career at some point I've talked about it a million times about how I would love this and doing this and if I could make this my job I would kind of ordeal but like yes so when it comes to that point and you're just like so how am I gonna you know get this to work what am I gonna do like and I just tell YouTube I'm like yeah so this is what happened <gasps> I could have actually had I could have had a freaking um, of evolution of this, which I think is Slurpuff. That's kind of sad that I could have just straight up had a Slurpuff right there. But, you know, I guess games decided you could have had it, but you're not going to. Oh, crap. Dark Aura. That sucks for this Pokemon, actually. The the fact that this Pokemon has Dark Aura is very sad. Oh, I got something caught in the back of my throat now. Ah, I don't like that feeling. I I hate that feeling. Like, when you get, like, phlegm and stuff caught in the back of your throat, it's, like, instantly, I just... Whenever I feel it, I'm, like, instantly just don't want to deal with it ever again. And it's just, like... I get that, like, obviously... You can't control that, um, but it's just like, ah, it's so annoying. I hate it. I hate the freaking fun. Today, you know what? We're complaining. We're just, we're just, it's a day. It's a day. It's a day. It's a day. But we know, we knew that, we knew that coming in. So I like how we're actually going to meet our goal though of getting to see a Geocent. I didn't realize that getting there doesn't take that long. Oops. Like, oh, frick. I did it again. Okay. Oh, oh. Good, 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 good. No! Oh my god. Blah. I mean, to be fair, though, didn't I want to evolve freaking, uh, my other objective that I never talked about was evolving freaking tentacle today? So, like, obviously, like, and if I can do that near the end of the episode, that's even better. So, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, this is totally fine. Next level 30. Yay. How do I stop phlegm? Like, how do you do that? Like, how do you stop phlegm from, like, being a pain in the butt? Safety goggles. Can I just, like... <sighs> Dude, I just want to murder the phlegm. Like, pretend the phlegm is not there and get it freaking out of here. Out of my life. Because I don't need it in my life. I know water is supposed to be a way to do that. And, like... You know, great. I spilled my tea. We love that. You know, Nick. Nick. What is, like, what is the punishment for spilling tea? I'm curious. You know what? That's a pretty good punishment for fucking spilling tea. <laughs> Super effective move, crit flinch. Or not crit flinch. Uh, just flinch. But, and then parrot immediately after. Watch. I, I already feel it coming. Because this thing can para flinch me. Yep. Oh my god, I fucking call it. Yas, queen. Yas. Queen, we called it. Uh, dude, I knew that. I, as soon as I dropped, the, spilt the tea, I was like. And the fact that it was literal spilling the tea, I was like, st stuff's gonna go down. Like, I'm gonna get punished for this. Yup. Yep, you are, John. At least you're smart enough to recognize that. Also, again, why is Tentacool taking forever? Like, it's the only one on my team that just does not want to get leveled. I'm like, what are you doing, Tentacool? Like, why are you not getting the levels? Please just level up. That's all I ask. It's a simple ask, and you're just not doing it. Phantom. Oh, well, stay. we gotta stay in on this. Oh, wait. Yes, we're fine. I clicked normal move and was like, John, what are you doing? It's like, John, 
Normal does not affect ghosts. Did you not know that? It's like, oh, wait, we have really late. It's fine. Inner brain thoughts trying to murder me. Yeah, that's that's just normal. Um, it sadly is, but I just, yeah. I hate, like, some of the things that are just, like, completely routine and normal for me. It's like brainchild thoughts. Ha. You thought that those were normal? They're actually not. And it's like, but they are. Like, inner thoughts are always going to be present within the scope of, uh, Pokemon and stuff. Hi, Shuppet. Within the scope of Pokemon. I just realized I said that. Within the scope of the universe, that's got to be a normal occurrence. So, like, why am I freaking out about it? Because I overthink. <laughs> yes, that is why. My overthinking tendencies are getting to me. Um, do I send in Jolly Roger? No, I send in Satan. It's it's just what you do, right? Like, you send in Satan. You let Satan ride. Um, he was also in my dream, but, you know, not this Satan, but Satan itself. And that was because of articles that I had read. Oh, Destiny Bond could pop up out of nowhere. But, uh, I don't know if I talked to you about the family drama situation that happened. The religion family drama. But, it ended, I mean, it ended up subsiding. But, yeah, no, that drama was fun. Um, and what they were talking about and what people were standing behind. And I was just like, yay. Good to know. Good to know that that's our thought process on things that I didn't talk about. Yay! Woo! Like, it was one of those, like, good talk kind of moments. Seal. So, yeah, I, those moments are super, like, uh, devastating is not the word. Awkward. Devastating, awkward. You know, same difference. Uh, but, yeah, there's, it was, like, it's like, it's like, I'm not gonna bring up the fact that this is the case in my life, but... Even though, you know, I feel like I should be able to, and I really should be able to, but, like, also, no, oh, no, no, because, again, a lot of people, okay, and the reason why I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that, is a lot of people fail to understand that you can have dual perspective. The concept of dual perspective is so nice. But like, if you be if you are or act one way, you can't believe the other way, and like, I kind of get where the frame of mind and what the frame of mind is talking about there. But also, again, it's like I can believe that something's okay, right, and that something is acceptable. But I can also choose not to follow it. You know, like. Like, yes, your thought process and the way that you're thinking about things is fine. And, like, there's certain morals and certain things about X that is okay, right? Like, you know, but I'm not going to choose. Like, let's just say, like, like providing for the family. Like, that's something that's super important. You want to provide for the family. You want to do things. But then a lot of people are like, well, you can't provide for the family on X day. And I'm like, I mean, but what if? I'm only allowed to provide the, for the family on X day and that if I don't work on X day, then I'm not providing for the family. Like, is there, but am I going to get repercussed for that? I mean, that doesn't make any sense because I'm doing my due diligence as a human being and as a, in this case, a father, not, I'm not a father, but like in the case that I'm thinking in the framework that I'm putting this in, it's like, so, am I then a bad person for doing that? No. But according to your basis, I am a bad person for doing that. But then it's like, you think about it and you're like, and then they're like, but what about the morals and what you have been told by your like person that you're supposed to be told this by? And it's like, well, yes, I believe in the morals and of being a good person and trying to help out when you can being there for others um and that kind of stuff yeah i believe that you should be there for others and help others out obviously if they're doing something that is like has there is there a moral good or a moral bad like of course there is a societal good and a societal bad but is there a true moral 
good and moral bad. I don't know. It's uh, some of the things that I've been thinking about, because, of course, my brain just wants to wander in this subject. Again, we went from homosexual sex to religion in one episode. Like, what the heck? Um, but you know what? Brain wanted to tailor to this, so I guess that's what we're doing. Uh, because, yeah, I, I, I do think that, personally, like, you can be of both. And it was just like... It's just like in a different sphere, a different sphere, where if you are of one frame of mind, then you can't be of the other frame of mind. And I'm like, that's false in its entirety, um, because I can think one way about a certain subject and another way about a different subject. That's the point. Like. It's about free thinking and having the ability to think and not just be straight line in this is my ways. If you're set in your ways, you're going to fail. Straight up. If you're set in your ways, then you're going to fail. You have to be able to adapt and change. Adaptiveness is super important to life. Just right there. It's like, honestly, I'll be 100% honest with you. You have to be adapt. In order to be, or be able, you have to be able to adapt in order to be successful in life. And on that note, before we get into a long fight with Karina, um, I'm going to save here. And I hope you guys had a wonderful day. We had some interesting topics of conversation in this episode. But we'll see you guys in the next one. I I will go ahead and train Tentacool off screen if that's okay. I, I mean, I'm going to do it anyway. So don't say it's okay or not because it's going to happen. But yeah, see you guys in the next one. Bye.